Hello all, welcome back to Uncommon Gigs. Myself Vasant. I hope you all doing well. So as you know, this is a video series where I'm explaining about the common custom implementation related questions that are asked in the interview. So if you have not watched my previous videos on custom implementation, at least one, two, and three, please go ahead and watch that. That will be helpful for you to understand what we are doing in the series and to understand basics about the uh, array prototypes or different prototypes, how to use the prototypes, etc. Uh, then probably if you come back, it will be very easy for you. If not, it may be become slightly difficult if you don't have the basics. Okay. Now the today's topic is uh, array dot prototype dot reduce very very common question no matter all the top companies you see everywhere they have asked custom implementation of reduce i mean next when you go they may not ask but whatever with the interview experience wherever they have asked the custom implementation reduce has been very very common question okay why reduce has been asked so many times uh, with what I know, actually, I have come prepared for this uh, video. I mean, I wrote already custom implementation reduce, practiced it, and I've come. Unlike other videos where I come and just do like that, just to show how possible errors we can make in the interview, this I've come prepared. I did not feel it is very difficult if you know custom implementation of few basic methods already. This is quite straightforward. Okay. I, I think it the interviewers are obsessed with array.reduce because the reduce method itself is very less used in the uh, during day to day activities many don't use because they don't know how it works okay many don't use because they don't know when to use it properly okay because of his reduce method itself is not used much but it is very effective method which is which can combine uh, map and filter kind of an operations two operations doing rather doing separately it can do it one step okay but you should know when to use and when not to use it okay uh, since many doesn't know what reduce does itself. So maybe interviewer think it will be difficult for them to write the implementation. So they generally ask this in the interview. Okay. But don't worry, I'll uh, explain the thing step by step. But I'm not going to touch base on when to use reduce, when not to use that. You can always see it from the documentation. I just touch base on what is reduce method, gives with a simple example, explain it in a simple example, then start writing the custom implementation. Okay. So Let's just get started with array dot prototype dot reduce. Okay. Uh, as usual, this in this uh, explanation is quite complicated to understand. So I will not uh, explain much about this. So this is a simple uh, example that I'll explain. Okay. Then I'll go with the syntax. Then let's go back and start writing the uh, custom implementation. So here we have one array. Okay. And uh, this is some block. Finally, we are printing the sum with an initial or all sum. In very simple words, reduce word whatever it, it indicates array reduce does the same that means given an array reduce it into something for in this case we are adding all the values and uh, printing the sum correct it could be any other operation like concatenating anything basically you are reducing an array into one chunk no matter what operation that is when reduce has to be used you can use reduce for any other methods also any other actions also but that's kind of slightly un um, not been regularly done okay so this is the right way of using reduce whenever to reduce array into one value okay now i'll copy this example okay let me head back to uh, this one uh, my visual studio code and then let's start the explanation okay so here we have an array uh, then we have an initial value rather having some with initial and all very simple words i'll name it output okay now we have a previous value and a current value previous value what i would name uh, just for my accumulator okay just for an easy understanding i'm naming it accumulator okay uh, see th i use a spelling checker i think it is some spell checker some package that is available in Visual studio you also use it so that you can avoid making spelling mistakes like this this i did intentionally just to show you because whenever you are doing a code review somebody points out your code spelling mistake is it will be very awkward to face so use this library and make sure you don't make any spelling mistakes okay um, accumulator and current value okay now array one dot reduce accumulator and current value so i'll explain you step by step what is happening okay as i mentioned Array dot reduce is basically used to reduce array into one chunk, correct? So here you see two variables it takes, okay? Accumulator and the current value. Then it also takes another value that is index. It also takes another value, the array itself, four arguments. Most of the time we will not use the third and the fourth. We just use the second and third argument. Now here accumulator is nothing but it holds the value what is returned from the previous calculation okay so very first there will not be any value that is returned from the previous calculation so 
calculation as in it could be any any operation that you are doing okay so very first accumulator needs a value that you can initialize by initial value if you are not passing an initial value the initial value is array's first index okay that is the first part so in our example as you passing an initial value so accumulator first points to zero next current value will always point to what is the current value in the array so in this case it is one correct then it goes on two three four now what happens is we are adding both the values so 0 plus 1 it is 1 in next step accumulators value is what was the result of the previous calculation so which is 1 what is the current value that is 2 so 2 plus 1 which is 3 next now accumulator value changes to 3 accumulation of so far whatever calculated current value is 3 so 3 plus 3 6 correct last step now the most recent accumulator value is 6 correct so we have 6 here last value of last current value is 4 6 plus 4 is 10 correct 6 plus 4 is 10. we are done okay so this is what array dot reduce does i've explained in a very step by step format okay wasn't what is being written i don't see written statement anywhere many might ask you this so this is an array uh, this is an arrow function if you don't use a flower bracket if anything that you write in one line nothing but that itself you are returning okay i i have made one video on about arrow function i try to link that somewhere in the screen or description that also you can watch to understand more okay so if you want it very clearly you can put a flower bracket remove the put this comma okay then do a manual return this is only happening even if you don't write return in the arrow functions okay now whatever i i have written here is it right or not correct you shouldn't believe anyone me also so let me put a log and show you this show this to you okay so accumulator is accumulator okay then current value current value is current value okay let me run this now so 0 1 3 6 overall it is 10 1 2 3 4 so last step it is skipped so which will be the sum of the final sum okay same whatever i explained here same is being shown here as well okay so now i believe most of you understood what array dot reduce does okay now is the second part okay i'll also show you one more thing let's say i don't pass the initial value okay if i don't pass the initial value what will happen so you will get this 10 only in this case add works as it is but there are some operations where it doesn't work if you don't i mean as it is i mean in this case if you pass an initial value of zero or if it uses the array's first index the add works the same way the output is 10 but there are some operations where it doesn't work the same way if you know the such operations please do mention that in comment section okay now um, so we need to handle both the scenarios when you write our custom implementation we should be able to see we should be able to check if there is an initial value use the initial value if there is no initial value then use the array of zero as the initial value okay now so i'm removing this as you already understood uh, yeah i'll start writing the custom implementation error or prototype so now if you are someone who is preparing for uh, javascript driven any interviews with a different text tags react angular view node etc as you know there will always one run that is dedicated for javascript i have made a beautiful series to explain most common interview questions and how to tackle them in the interview with respect to javascript i'll try to add some link on the screen also in the description section please do watch it okay definitely it'll be helpful for you i don't revolve around I'll come exactly the question that is asked in the interview and how to tackle it. And if you are someone who is brushing up, I'll also explain the basics and then I'll straight away get into the questions. Okay. Please do watch that series. That will definitely helpful for you. Now, let's start with the implementation. Array dot. I assume you have already watched my videos. You know what is prototype and how to add your method into prototype. Okay. So my reduce. So again, anonymous function. This is an anonymous function. If you don't know what anonymous function, what it does, again, I made one video. I'll try to add that somewhere on the screen. Please do watch that. Okay. Now, inside my reduce, what you need first is the input array, whatever we are passing. Correct. So const input array is points to this. I, I have explained this multiple times. Basically, this points to the array with which you are trying to trigger this method. In this case, the array one. Okay. So I'll replace that with reduce with my reduce okay now we have input array next what we need is initial value correct so 
before that reduce basically takes if you observe two arguments correct so one is a callback or a method second one is the initial value correct so we'll mention the same here callback initial value okay now const accumulator basically the initial value very first points to the accumulator correct so const initial value okay not null not null then use initial value itself if it is a null then use the input array of zero hope you got what i have done very simple words there are many ways to do this some use the or and and all i kind of prefer this approach this is very neat so if initial value is not null then use the initial value itself if initial value is null then use the input array of zero the first argument in the first element in the array okay now we have the accumulator which basically holds the result okay next we have the input array now i'm writing a for loop okay which will run till the length of the array okay what we do inside that is we will be triggering this callback callback as in this method itself whatever you have written here right this callback itself will trigger for each method for each method the accumulator and the current value will change correct so accumulator is this accumulator current value will be input array of i then very important point is accumulator should be keep updating correct so you are returning the sum of accumulator and current value so that i am assigning it to the accumulator i'll explain once again if you are getting confused okay now finally i will return the accumulator itself let me run this i'll reiterate everything that i have written once again okay uh, accumulator is equals to callback assignment okay see problem came what problem is i am trying to update the constants value correct so you should be using let here actually i realized i wanted to show this error not by running before running only i wanted to show don't do this but i forgot and uh, I, i ran it okay so i got 10 here so i'll do the same i'll pass this to the reduce you have already seen but just to double sure we getting 10 with a that reduce also okay and same with my reduce also correct now we'll go here and i'll again reiterate and then we'll wind this video so here what we are doing is we are doing a callback and initial value so input array basically points to this as i mentioned multiple times so if you are someone who already got a good good hold of this don't use again another variable to initialize uh, this use this as it is in your execution like here you can use this dot length and this dot i okay uh, if you are just novice please feel free to use this doesn't uh, i mean this doesn't show like you are no, you are not expert feel free to use this also so input array then we have an accumulator okay so accumulator is nothing but as i already explained a variable that holds the sum of the previous calculation or whatever the calculation happened that's value is hold in the accumulator very first it should either hold the initial value that you pass or input array of zero okay so i have written this condition next we will run the loop till the length of the array and inside which every time you trigger this callback the same callback whatever was triggered here is triggered here also so callback requires two argument accumulator and current value accumulator you already know it is here current value you already know from the array accumulator needs to be keep updating for each iteration so you are initializing accumulator to whatever the value that is written from here okay so that's all you have to do about the uh, writing the custom implementation for the reduce very simple question i think if Uh, you would have watched this videos before you attending the interview probably would have cleared the interviews and already got a very high package okay thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubts about this video feel free to add that in the comment section i'll try to answer okay if you like this video please do like it on my youtube channel do not forget to share this video with your friends and please subscribe to my channel uncommon geeks okay so that will definitely motivate me to make more such videos i link my medium blogs link somewhere on the description or also in the screen okay where i've written beautiful article about lot of javascript concept please go and read them follow me on medium also thank you again catch you in next video